I think what's special about La Fon is the way that we observe tradition. In that regard, the wooden spoon is a great symbol for the way that we cook because we don't want to leave any flavor in the pan, so we use the spoon to scrape that up. So today we're going to prepare a pain perdu, which means the lost bread. And this is a, a method in France for really utilizing yesterday's bread from dinner. The version that we're gonna do today is with Nutella. I like the technique because it's a little bit more involved than what Americans know as French toast. So the way that I make the pain perdu is I make the custard, and then I take the bread and I remove all the crusts. And I prefer to take a loaf of bread that's not pre-sliced because I like to cut it a little bit thicker. I use challah. And I like that because it has a lot of egg yolks and it's just an inherently rich bread. And then we take a baking dish and I use a really deep one and I line it with parchment paper and I just put down a layer of the custard and then a layer of the bread and then I cover that with the custard and I just keep going. When I make this recipe I like to make it the day ahead and just keep it in the fridge because that gives the bread time to soak up all the custard and makes it for a much richer, denser finished product. And then the next day, I bake it at a relatively low temperature. I try to go 300 degrees or below. And I'll bake it in a water bath so that the edges don't brown. And then I'll also put a weight on it while it's baking and I'll put more water there so that the pain perdu is kind of encased in water, which cooks it very gently. And just let it cool overnight before I portion it. And that allows you to brown it and make it crispier on the outside. And it's much more soft and custardy on the inside. At La Fon, we serve this with an aerated yogurt and our homemade granola and maple syrup.